So one last uh, surface modeling tool that I want to go over is uh, the height field tool and um, I just think it's kind of a more interesting tool to use to kind of experiment with generating surfaces. Um, so uh, for this we're going to use an image, we're going to use a, a raster image. Um, so in this case I have uh, Photoshop opened up and uh, the way the height field um, tool works is it takes a grayscale or black and white image and it assigns a height based on whether the pixels are black or white or grayscale. So uh, to demonstrate this, I'm going to just create a um, kind of a gradient of, of, of black and white grayscale colors using the brush tool. So I'm going to use my brush tool in Photoshop and I have a black uh, foreground color selected and you can see it's kind of um, this kind of area is this large circle and I'm just going to kind of brush this kind of um, cross shape. Oh, actually I'll do that again, try to keep that a little more of a straight line and I'll just kind of go through it again one more time. So I have this kind of um, range of black and white colors, and I'm gonna save this out as my as a JPEG image. So I'm gonna switch to JPEG, call this my gradient, and hit OK. And I'm gonna switch back to Rhino, and in my perspective view. Um, Actually, I'll do this in my top view. I'm going to type in uh, height field in the command line and press enter. I'm going to select my gradient J, uh, raster image. And this image is approximately, um, I think it's like seven centimeters, around three inches. So I'm going to choose uh, my first corner and my um, second length, three inches, and I'll leave my height. Uh, so we get this with we get this um, dialog box that pops up, and it gives me the number of samples. So this is basically the number of of ISO curves that we're creating in the surface, and this is the height of the surface. Um, I'm going to leave this as surface with control points and hit OK. And if I zoom in here, you can we can start to see, if I switch the shaded view, um, how it's kind of assigned these colors um, based, uh, uh, or it's based, uh, created a surface with heights based on the colors. So for example, if I were to go into Photoshop and uh, select, um, and inverse this, so I'm going to uh, choose image, adjustments, and then invert these colors. So now we have the blacks on, black pixels on the corners. I'm going to save this out as another JPEG. Gradient, say 2, and hit save. I'll go back to Rhino and I'll type in the same command, height field. Choose my gradient 2. I'll leave these settings the same, and now you can kind of see it's done the opposite. So the white pixels are the high values, the black uh, black pixels are the low, va uh, low values uh, at zero, and we can kind of see the result of that. So what's kind of interesting about this tool is that we can then use other images like a site topography or um, some kind of a aerial map. Um, to generate heights. So um, in this other example, I'm using this image that I found of a kind of grayscale image of a leaf. And we're going to try the height field command with this. So I'm going to switch back to Rhino. Um, I'm going to uh, we can see in our perspective view we don't really see the topography of this because they're just the ISO curves in plan, 
but we see it's definitely um, an inflected surface in perspective. So I'm going to delete these two and let's try the height field one more time and this time we're going to use the leaf and this image is about the same size in, in Photoshop as, as the other ones so I'm going to keep it roughly the same, same size and this time um, if I leave these settings the way they are I'll just hit OK just to kind of see what this looks like at 24 by 24 samples. So we kind of don't really see the image of the leaf very much. We're kind of getting this kind of interesting, really inflected surface, um, but it's not really generating as much of the leaf shape as that I as I as I'd like it to. So I'm gonna un undo this one and I try it again. And this time, when I place the image. This time I'm going to increase the number of samples. Let's say that we want like a hundred. And the height, I'm, I don't want it as high. I'm going to just type in 0.25 and I'm going to hit OK to this. And we should get something that starts to look a little bit more like the, the black and white uh, leaf image. Okay, so um, I'm going to go in my perspective again, and it's a little bit hard to see, but we could start to see the leaf image a little bit more clear. And if I switch to my rendered view, uh, now we can really start to kind of see it a little bit better. And it's a very kind of complex image, so you could, complex surface, you could see uh, how modeling something like this would be pretty difficult to do, which I think is one of the interesting things with the height field tool is that it allows us to kind of create these very complex surfaces um, with a very simple technique and um, based on an image. So one more thing we could do to kind of get this looking a little bit closer to the to the leaf image is to kind of smooth some of the smooth the surface out a little bit. So the last thing I'll do here is just type in the command line smooth. I will select the surface and press enter. And we get this tool that kind of allows us to change as I slide this. You could see how it's affecting the surface. But I'm going to just slide this over a little bit and maybe try to smooth this out a little bit and hit OK. And now we're starting to get something that looks much more like the a kind of embossed image of the of the leaf. So I think it's a pretty useful tool. We can start to use this in different ways to like 3D print or um, kind of create some kind of other uh, physical artifact using using this surface.